Now let's discuss the H1 antagonists, uh, which are those that are the antihistamines and the anticholinergic drugs. So we have group one, uh, those are in red, those are the er aryl groups. Uh, group two is in yellow, and this is uh, uh, the nature of X, or what we call it, the nature of X. Group three is in green. Uh, the carbon chain and group four in blue. This is a terminal nitrogen. Uh, first, let's let's start with group number one, the aryl, uh, which is the one at the bottom here. Um, so it includes phenyl or heteroaryl groups. The uh, Aryl prime um, is aryl or aryl methyl group. Now, sometimes the two groups will be bridged. Uh, for example, in promethazine, if you look at the promethazine, you will see that those two groups uh, are bridged. Actually, okay. So, um, what, what I mean by bridge is, if you take a look here, look how they are bridged. Uh, so this is one aromatic, this is the second aromatic, and look how they're bridged together. So uh, the group, uh, the second group, nature of X, so X is never a halogen. Okay, uh, usually X can be oxygen, carbon, or nitrogen. So again, nature of X, X is never a halogen, uh, it can be an oxygen, a carbon, or a nitrogen. If X is oxygen, then uh, it's known, uh, then it knows the amino alcohol ether analog. If X is carbon, then it's known as the monoamino propyl analog. If X is nitrogen, then it is ethylene diamine derivative. Okay, uh, so this is like the naming of the structures. If the X is oxygen, it's known as amino alcohol ether analog. If X is carbon, it's known as mono amino propyl analog. And if X is nitrogen, then it's ethylene diamine derivative. The third group, the carbon chain, so most of the structure contains ethylene chain, uh, extension or branching of this chain. Is going to result in less active compound. Uh, the ho uh, homo the homologation has played an important role in the development of the neuroleptics and the tricyclic antidepressants, uh, such as uh, chlorpromazine, which is a, a neuroleptic. Now, finally, let's discuss the fourth group, which is the terminal nitrogen. Tertiary amines give maximum antihistamine activity. It may be the part of the heterocyclic ring and still retains high antihistamine activity.